I was lunching with uh, a famous lady. A lady a little lacking in wit, but full of very high-sounding ideas. If you were in doubt concerning the meanings of freedom and liberty, you could ask this lady and receive the most lyrical of answers. I can best describe her by confessing she was more famous than intelligent, which is one of the hazards of democracy. This lady and I have known each other for some years, and our meetings were always of an amiable nature. We admired each other. but. Having ideas more or less alike, there was never much we could talk about. There is nothing as dull as an intellectual ally after a certain age. Our lunch this time was a bit duller than usual. We gossiped aimlessly for an hour on the stupidity of movies and the stupidity of theater and the stupidity of literature, from which it can be seen we were avoiding any topics of importance. We moved into the library rather elegantly to have our coffee. Now here, my hostess fell silent and took to regarding me with a rolling and pregnant eye. Her fine brow became full of furrows and by this and other signs I knew she was deep in thought or possibly working around asking some favor of me. I would like you to tell me something very frankly, she said finally. Do you mind talking about Jews? It is one of my favorite topics, I answered, lying gallantly. I'm very glad. Jews are often a little skittish about the subject. You don't have to be too tactful. Jewishness is not a venereal disease. I was sure you'd feel just that way because after all, you are not the kind of Jew who thinks that any discussion of Jews is intended as a personal slight. No, I am not that kind of Jew, I said soothingly. 